what's going on ladies and gents, Dal, we're here for T3G, and this is another vlog, and I'm finally doing it, I'm finally starting the regimen, I'm about to eat breakfast, and I wanted to share what I'm going to be doing here, and this is, this is going to be breakfast for, you know, the rest of eternity, so this is what we got. I'm doing a little prep work, um, so I've got some chicken that I already baked a few days ago. I'm going to dice that up, use a little bit of it as some added protein. Spinach, always. I'm going to dice up some onion, same thing. I'm going to put it in a container, use it as uh, as the days go. Uh, I've got some peppers. I'll probably throw the whole thing in. We've had the peppers for a while, so I'm going to try to use all of them up. And then uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the mushrooms as with the onions and the chicken. I'm going to dice up a little bit. And, uh, well, I, I don't know. I might dice up all of them and then make it easier for myself later on. But, uh... I, Regardless, I'm going to dice up a couple mushrooms, throw it in the pan, and then the primary breakfast ingredient is eggs. So I always going to go, I'm always going to go with two eggs. And uh, so that's still going to be a lot of food, if you think about it. It's going to have some chicken, it's going to have a lot of vegetables, and it's going to have a couple eggs. It's going to be a big breakfast in terms of volume, but it's still going to be a lower calorie breakfast. Think about it. You've got these are medium eggs, so probably. 70 calories a piece, so 140. This is going to be like an ounce of chicken, which is nothing. And then the vegetables are essentially, what, 20 calories? Like, I mean, I'm coming in under 300 calories, even with my glass of orange juice, maybe under four. So, threw about three mushrooms in. I'm not going to dice the rest of them. Uh, that just, it gets a little messy, so I'm going to leave those, wash them, and dice them as needed. Uh, a little bit of onion, so that's a, that's a whole onion diced up. That's going to go in the fridge and be used throughout the week this is that chicken breast I'm going to use about about yay much boom got a, got that chicken breast will probably last me a week for breakfast and um yeah so threw some olive oil in I don't measure it I mean it was probably like two tablespoons uh I don't measure oil I never have in my life um I just Man, if I'm gonna go that that like minutia to it, I'm just gonna hate every bit of the day. So I'm going with just some olive oil, and uh, you, you've got peppers in there. Peppers are naturally uh, moist, so they're gonna they're gonna throw some more moisture into the mix anyway. Um, same thing with the chicken, so you're gonna have a little bit more moisture. Uh, the only thing that's in there that's really gonna suck up moisture is the mushrooms, and there's not that much of it. But otherwise, that's gonna be delicious. Uh, got the spinach in there already, so that's uh, just gonna, I'm gonna simmer that up. Simmer is that the word? And pan fry that up. Uh, get that pan fried up, and then uh, throw in a couple eggs, some spices, and uh, get this going. Almost ready here. Yeah. Now this is this is a step that you can really kind of do to whatever degree you want. I can go with this stuff being a little more raw, a little more un uh, not as cooked as some people might like. Um, so I would usually I'll drop the heat down a little bit here. I would usually go a little lighter. Uh, I just need I just need the chicken to be warm. Otherwise, really everything else as long as it's warm, it doesn't need to be like fried. I don't need it to to look like it was fried. It can it can look like a salad. Personally, I'm okay with that. I'll throw in these two eggs and uh Something I simply do not wish to give up in my life is cheese, and uh, so I found some some cheese ends. Uh, your local mom and pop kind of cheese, or uh, like deli, or like uh, I think maybe Whole Foods has cheese ends. And basically, it's like stuff that's left over, stuff that people don't use. I'm gonna use two slices of what looks to be maybe either like a cheddar or an American. Uh, if you are allergic to certain cheeses, you probably don't want to go this route, but uh, this is going to go back in the fridge. I'm going to throw two slices in. There's my that stuff. Uh, where did I put my chicken? Ah, my chicken. Boom, chicken. 35 calorie bread. Uh, I actually got that for the wife. She was uh, talking about some uh, peanut butter and jelly the other day. OJ. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, I go pretty much with these three exclusively. Some oregano, 
uh, some pepper and some cayenne. I do not use salt. Um, I already have high blood pressure from what I understand. And, uh, you know, uh, you eliminate salt to kind of help that out. Also drinks giant jugs of water. Uh, the reason I use oregano for breakfast is that uh, one day a long time ago, Joe Beretta and uh, I want to say it was Joe Beretta and McTurney on SourceFed did a story about how something in oregano uh, prevents cancer. So, you know, every little bit we can uh, we can do to prevent cancer is uh, all right for me. And I have a chunky hand. Okay, that's why we're doing this, and that's why we're going to be going for a walk. There's the breakfast. There's some OJ and a lot of water. And now it's time to go for a quick walk. I'm going to be doing just about a little bit over a mile, get back into the swing of things. And then uh, eventually, probably, I would say probably by the end of May, I think that's a solid goal. By the end of May, I wanna be able to uh, walk to my gym, which is about five-ish miles away. So it'd be, I'd walk, do a, you know, do some weights, and then come, come back. So, really, like ten, ten mile ish, walk. We'll see what happens. One point three three miles. It's really bright out. Uh, found out that my fire, fire district, fire protection district, whatever, firehouse, the fire people. Firefighters, there it is, firefighters, are like a minute away from my house. So, heaven forbid, somebody's on fire over here, we're in good shape. Uh, went about 26 minutes, maybe about a 19 and some change pace. Uh, yeah, that last like quarter of the, of the walk, felt like I was on autopilot. Happens every time when I start this stuff. Should, uh, should become way easier within about a week to two weeks, and then I'll go up to, to three miles. Yeah, that's about it. So, take the music out so I can actually hear myself. So the wife is running her 10K, Rockdale Ramblin' Run. Still getting my walk in. It's not gonna be as, lo as long or as intense as the others because I'm wearing jeans. But uh, still gotta get it in. Uh, yeah, might get some breakfast after this. Had a yogurt to start the day. Uh, we left the house at like 6 a.m. So, you know, kicking it off. But still getting a walk in. So, I'm trying to get up earlier to get more stuff done for the day, but it never works. It is 9.41, but I'm going to make some breakfast, go for a walk, and I'm going to pick up a painting from a friend of mine that I probably need to stop for cash first. I'm buying it, of course. Where did I get cash? Hmm. Let's consider that while we take a look at this dog. The dog. Georgia. The dog. Hey. Hey. Georgia. Cookie? Cookie? The dog. Georgia. Why are you shy? Why are you camera shy? Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? All right, let's get you a cookie. Mm, yeah, give her the one big one. Sit. Can you back? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Lie down. Cheers. Cheers. Half measure. Lie down. Good dog. Shut 
He always walks away to try to get some space to handle that. My dishes are all dirty, so we're gonna put that in. Normal, no heat, boom. And we're gonna get some yogurt. And uh, yeah, go for that walk. Should I take the dog to get her nails done first? Which looks like some sort of S&M contraption is actually the cover for my back seat for this little one. Still haven't painted the living room on another note. Uh, so I've decided that I'm gonna go and take her to get her nails did and uh, pick up that painting on the way and go for a walk later in the evening with the wife probably. She likes that kind of stuff, you know, a couple things. Look at this dog. Well, if you're gonna leave your dog in the car for any length of time, leave all the windows open, put them in the damn shade. So I always get um, some pure leaf uh, or some whatever unsweetened iced tea I can find. Uh, and I need a cash back to pay for my art. So I also got myself uh, another audio cable because those things break all the time and I always love clearance audio cable. This was Walgreens, $5.19. Boom. So I got my sweet, sweet piece of art here. It's pretty badass. And now it's time to go into PetSmart with the dog. You ready for this, Doug? Are you ready? Uh -huh. Hey, dog, wait. Wait. No. Hey, dog. Come on. You ready for this, dog? Come on. Do this dog. Hello. How you doing? Did you want to change? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good one. Come on, no more. <laughs> so greedy. So that's a thing. That is a thing. I'm pretty hyped about this. Let's get this bad boy opened up. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Come on. Oh. Fuck. It's a mess. That's coming soon. Seriously, who lives here? There we go. Crap, crap. Oh. oh, can you imagine the streaming? The streaming power! Six pin extension. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh. Box on box on box. Now I'll put this back in here because how is this going to be back? Or how is this coming here to film the pans for this? Because we'll be doing a review and comparison. It's my old card. All right, all right. Working on cleaning up this room, but this, look at this production quality is about to go master. Is that, is that a 70D? That's a 70D. We got some stuff. We got a, a battery grip, sweet case, a new lens. So now uh, Hottest doesn't have to bring his over all the time, and uh, I can finally get some recording done. All right, let's see what we got. We have a fluid head by Yuntang. 
off brand. We have a new, newer, new, newer uh, battery grip. And I think that's everything in that box. That is everything in that box. Recycling. We have a Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. We have an LED light attachment along with a bracket, a little side bracket so I can put it on there and have some stuff off to the side. And two batteries because it is a rechargeable and it has the charger in it as well. Uh, remote shutter release because seriously. What's this? Turbo Travel Charger. Uh, what is this? Ultraviolet filter. A couple memory cards. Filter, memory cards, extra battery. Oh, a card reader, sweet. What else we got? Starter kit with a little table, um, table tripod, some lens cleaner, and some lens covers, lens protectors. Looks like it. And some SD card holders. We have 50-inch tripod. To add to my collection of tripods, we have another rack. Oh, well, that's cool. And the mouse. Little, little, little mo or mouse. What am I talking about? Microphone. A uh, little mini condenser shotgun microphone. That could be fun. That could be useful. And of course, the granddaddy of them all the new 70D. Oh, yeah, the bag. The bag size photo video backpack um, this is probably not gonna be going on my back um, but I may be able to rig it to my uh, equilibrium bag which I'll be buying later this year uh, it is Vivitar which is kind of like an all-purpose uh, third-party brand now Let's see if I can do this I wonder how that came out. I was holding it under my chin. Yeah, it's in the middle. So we got the, the big pocket for the camera. Some lens pockets. Accessory pockets. Accessory pockets. Nothing on the outside. Little side pieces. Uh, side Velcro. That's kind of cool. And then a big side pocket here. I mean, this can be an odd oh, for the tripod. Well, then that's cool. All right, so here is the whole kit and caboodle. Let's uh, focus here. Thank you. Can we? I feel like. What is going on? Very odd. Hmm. I was under the impression there was multiple focus points on this phone. Regardless, so here we are. We have the main body, the kit camera, 18 to 55, the additional, or I'm sorry, the kit lens, the uh, 75 to 300 millimeter uh, lens. We have the fluid head with an extra uh, plate, which is nice. Uh, it's a snap-in plate too, which I'm really happy about. Uh, I'll do a review on probably quite a few of these pieces separately. Um, maybe just like as a whole stuff that I got with my camera kind of thing. Um, really, really cool thing about this battery grip, though. So it has the standard, uh, you know, Canon. Wow. Open. Open sesame. Come on. So it has a standard, like, Canon style, right? Double 
will take both batteries so it'll keep it charged longer. Or if you're out in the field, a boom by ow, double A's, what's up? It's like eight double A's, but who cares? Who cares? You have the opportunity to continue shooting even when you don't have battery power or the ability to recharge. It's fantastic. Um, I left the, the uh, filter in its little case. Um, this is the little SD card uh, case, which is nice. Uh, the two SD cards say they're class 10. Uh, see it there. They say they're class 10. Uh, but I don't know the brand, and um, I usually like to have at least 32 gigs in my camera, so um, not really going to be using that. Probably going to put that to some other use. This is the this is the remote. The shutter's pretty nice. Mm, just a shutter button. This is the part of the uh, fast charger kit and travel kit. Uh, so it's nice that I can charge it in the car. It's super nice that I have a Europe adapter. So when I go to Europe, I'm going to have an adapter for that so I can charge the uh, camera battery. And then I can also charge the uh, LED battery because that came with it. The other nice thing, the LED charger came with a USB port. So you can actually plug in directly into a, uh, like your phone. You could use this as a phone charger. For up to, come on, I believe in you, uh, amperage, 550 milliamps, it'd be a really, really, really slow charge, but, hey, if you have nothing else, you know, <laughs> so the little starter kit is cool, um, I like, I like having these, I actually have one already, um, but, you know, always nice to have another. <laughs> this thing is kind of a joke. It's super cheap, super flimsy. Um, I might just leave this at home. Um, maybe just for a mic or something at, at the house. Uh, I was actually thinking about using my old uh, Sony as my webcam for game streaming, so I might be able to. I might be doing that. Um, I think the last thing here is the card reader. Now the card reader um, still is a little chintzy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little loose. It come the caps come off pretty easily. But the nice thing about it is, it has both. It has micro SD and standard SD card. You see, like it's it comes apart pretty easily. Uh, I think. Well, the bag too. The bag's real nice. I already showed you guys the bag. Uh, this is the the strap, and this is the mountain of paperwork. Uh, I've got the batteries charging already. That's the other one right there. And uh, I'm going to finish this off on the camera. Oh, the, the mic. The mic is right here. The mic is... Uh, it's nice. It's got a, a that odd size a cell battery. It's not, a, it's not a cell battery. It's the little... I'll show you guys here. I had to switch off the LED. CR240? Something like that? I mean, I could take it out, but it's not really... CR2, there it is, CR2, 3 volt battery, um, so hopefully that'll last a while, but we'll see, uh, that and the uh, LED came in a, came with a little slider adapter, so you can put it to the side and still have a top mount, um, this is, so this is not even charged battery, this is a, a out of the box, um, here's, here, actually let me, I'm gonna cut the other lights, I have two photo lights, okay, so that's, Nothing. You guys see nothingness. The nothingness of nothing. And, I mean, if I was to, this is kind of like the spot right here. So, this is pretty... I mean, pretty solid LED, you know, for like a spot LED on a camera. Not bad at all. But yeah, I'm going to finish the rest of this on the camera. All right, so oh, the one thing I didn't do. Oh man. Oh, I don't know. That's it's real bright. I don't know how, how good that's gonna go. Um, so I'm doing a little little Casey Neistat style here. I'm um, holding it up with a little tiny, tiny uh, tabletop tripod, and it's not very uh, useful for this. Um, also, I can definitely see how you could work up some little bicep, little deltoids doing this on a regular basis uh, I'm using the attached mic I'm using the attached LED it's really really bright so I probably wouldn't do this on a normal basis um, but I just wanted to see what this was uh, what the quality was of the mic and uh, if made sure of course that the uh, camera is working properly 
Uh, just using the little bit of a uh, battery power I've got left because uh, it definitely wasn't fully charged. So I'm going to put it right back in the charger. Appreciate you guys for watching this vlog. Um, I'm probably not going to do short vlogs, honestly. And uh, yeah, uh, check out C3GTech.com, all that good stuff, Facebook. Uh, the giveaway is happening on Facebook. Check out the giveaway we're doing on the tablet. T check out the 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, if we're at 500 subscribers, you better be on that. Some game stuff. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time.